Hello Trade Pros, hello YouTube, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to use TradingView's very simple screener to identify option trade, option day trade opportunities in different stocks. So if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, drop a like and comment down below. What are your favorite options to trade? I know a lot of people love Tesla, but maybe you have some great movers that we don't know about. I want you guys to sit back, enjoy, get ready for this intro as we start the video. It's going to be short and sweet today. We're going to show you the breakdown of the very, very simple way to actually use this screener and how to identify opportunity before the market even opens. So you can identify potential opportunity setting up with this screener as well. That may not be more immediate, but I'm going to be showing you how to use this to find day trade options opportunities in the market. Let's start this intro. So as you guys can see, if you go to the TradingView website, you'll see there is a lot of different things here there are a lot of different options and naturally what we're going to be looking at will be the screener right here so if we highlight it in a different color so we can see it the screener right here in this area we are going to be diving into that so all we have to do is simply click the button for stock screener and it's going to prompt us to the screener page now trading view has a very extensive screener that can show you a lot of different things right looking at this portion if we're going to be looking at opportunity for pre-market right opportunity for options trading that day we're going to be naturally looking at the extended hours right there's also a different criteria here you can go by performance valuation dividends they have a great overall fundamental descriptive and technical analysis portion of the screener right you can hit the drop down and see what you'd like here some oscillators balance sheets whatever you want right we're going to be sticking to extended hours now you have another drop down menu right here screens so this is very cool too and very important you can look at different screens most capped volume leaders top gainers top losers all-time highs whatever right all-time highs are great new 52 week highs are great for breakout trades overbought oversold there's a lot of great things however what i like to do is typically we're going to jump into the volume leaders we're going to keep it at volume leaders and here is the filters button what i like to do here first you can see if we jump into volume leaders let's look at most capped right most cap naturally you're going to see um the fang stocks whatever it is right but if we go into volume leaders there are a few specific things that i'd like to notice right here so number one i guess the pre-market close knowing what the price is pre-market change is important you can see immp up pre-market 225 percent right pre-market gap 71 percent pretty crazy gains so we're going to be looking at these two columns this column right here is super, super important, pre-market volume. We want to be trading stocks that are super liquid because that means that their options are going to be most likely liquid. We're going to be looking at um, the general volume and we're going to compare the two together, right? Is it a substantial amount or if it's just generally good pre-market volume? And we're going to be looking at the market cap. Naturally, we like to see something a little larger because then it'll be optional, but with liquid options. So let's take a look at that. Those are going to be our main criteria. And if we jump into the filters, Let's see what we got. So in the filters, you've got four different things, all of them put together, right? This is a plethora of different resources here in selection. And then you've got descriptive, right? This will show you um, post-market close, pre-market close volume, right? Stuff that we're interested in, post-market volume, market cap, stuff like that on the exchange, right? I like that. Fundamentals is gonna show you fundamentals, right? Earnings per share, gross profit, um, whatever you need, right? And this is not gonna help us trade day trade options, technicals, this is going to help us day trade options. So pre-market change, I like to change this. Maybe we'll do like 1%, 1.5%, right? And we can just hit enter there, right? And it's going to show us everything that has changed pre-market at least 1.5%. It doesn't have to gap, it just has to change. So if we go back to descriptive, we're going to be plugging away only at a few different things, right? If we go into volume and I want something pre-market, let's say at least 100K, if you want to get really specific, at least 500K. So let's keep it at 100K pre-market volume, average volume per day. We want to spice it up a little, right? We want at least a million. You can see how our matches are decreasing as our criteria is increasing. Market cap, 
I like to look at stuff that is $2 billion and more, right? $10 billion sometimes, and we'll find those opportunities and those ideas. So let's just stick with $10 billion. And we've identified a lot of this different criteria down here, mainly volume-based and change-based. So if we look at this and we go into our selections right here, it's narrowed it down very, very well for us. What has it done? 11 matches, right? And I'm looking for pre-market changes to the upside. Typically, I like buying calls or just buying puts, uh, super directional, right? We're doing weeklies if we're day trading. And we got 11 matches, right? What do we have here? We got a stock. I haven't even heard of this one, ITUB, which is uh, around $6 stock, right? Pre-market volume, very good. Had a little movement. I typically like tra trading stocks like $15 or more on the options front. So this one right here, VALE, I like it. This one is something that we've been monitoring for a while, right? It's got pre -market, good pre-market volume, good general volume. Um, it's a decent price, good pre-market change, right? This one's a little low on the price side, a little low, a little low. Starbucks, that's another one we looked at today, right? Good pre-market volume, everything is nice. Eli Lilly, that's another one we looked at, and so was Baidu. So after we have these selections, right? Let's say out of all of these, we can look at Chevron too. Chevron's a good one, oil's been doing well. So out of all of these, let's say we want to look at one, two, three, four, five for opportunities. So we just found five pretty good stocks that have the potential to move on the day in our options day trade front. So after I've done this and I've selected these, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my chart and do some analysis on them. So you can see this is after the day had happened, but this is Baidu, right? If we looked at it pre-market, we would have just seen something like this, right? We would have seen something like this. And we had a nice pre-market move, right? It had good volume, it had a change. So it was it was looking pretty good. Based on our criteria, if we're looking at um, a strategy, I like breakout strategies. So maybe I'll go on the 10 minute chart, for example, and I'm, and I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, this looks pretty juicy. We're seeing somewhat of a bull flag right here on this 10 minute, you know, like I, I like it. I could either say, I'm gonna be looking to get long somewhere in this area after we break out or maybe i'll wait for the break above this area to get long right so this is good i like this one we had a move we had a move pre-market we had volume pre-market and met our criteria so baidu was on the list this morning right it's on the watch list there we go the market opens we're cruising through the first area of resistance from the bull flag right so we could be getting long very very soon there you go you get long again for the breakout and see it continue right so this is a good one this is a good pick based on the screener if we use another if we use another stock from the screener right what do we have let's delete these little lines we had starbucks right starbucks was another one that we saw pre-market it was bull flagging pretty nicely right you had you had something like this it was we were looking for a somewhat of a breakout trade based on this guy pre-market volume was good pre-market change was good everything looked good starbucks on the 10 minute chart was a nice little buy right nice little buy a break and retest of these tops so there you go two for two from the screener already so what i typically do is after i've identified these stocks i just go on i just go on the chart right here on the options front right i just go on the basic underlying stock chart before i start trading the options and i do my technical analysis and do my analysis for everything right I'll identify if it's worth it if it actually looks like a good setup and a good play could it run does it have volume behind it yes that's what the screener was for so, so far, we found a lot of good ideas. If we look at Chevron, how did Chevron do today? Chevron did pretty well as well, right? A nice little change. Now, Chevron actually looks pretty good for the breakout of these tops should oil continue going. So far, the screener has not led us astray. Eli Lilly, right? Again, another great one. Nice gap, nice move higher. Vale, let's see. Oh, that's even, even better, right? This thing's been on a rampant tear and it continues to go, right? These are great opportunities. Now, when I look at this, I usually use a program called Flow Algo to help me out, right? It's not just the screener. Flow Algo is, acts like a screener as well. So if you don't have something like this that tells you options flow, um, it'd be advised to look into it, right? If we take a look at Vail, Vail always has flow, right? 945, there you go. Big calls are coming out. They're blocked, so it's not maybe the best. But you had the opportunity based on the screener right the screener was telling us hey you know what there's there's going to be opportunity in such such and such stock today so keep an eye out on flow algo we'll do a video on that if you guys want for day trading options but in terms of the screener 
you just need a few simple criteria. Let's go over them again, right? We're gonna use the extended hours portion. We're gonna use the volume leaders, right? The screen for volume leaders and the filters, right? Very few filters. Market cap, two or 10 billion plus. We're gonna be using average daily volume of about a million. Uh, we're gonna be using pre-market volume of about 100,000, right? If we go to pre-market volume, 100,000. And that actually dropped down the list, right? I like that, that's good. We, we forgot this one. So pre-market volume around 100 or 50,000, right? It narrowed down the list. So it gave us even fewer options, right? And then we're going to look at percent change. One to 2% pre-market is a good area. So very few filters on this screener. And it gives you, it really narrows it down so you can have a good choice of potential movers on that day. Remember, um, either up or down, you can look for both. If we're breaking down to the downside on a lot of stocks, you can look for the negative change, right? breaking up they're usually pretty good runners especially when you combine it with something like flow so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i want you guys to drop a comment down below do you guys day trade options do you guys use a tv screen or do you use it a different way than i do what else do you want to see we're going to leave it off with george for this last message and i hope everyone enjoyed it remember if you're not subscribed but you enjoy our videos smash that subscribe button smash that like button and we'll see you guys next time Hello, and thank you for watching this video. I wanna take a moment to invite you to an exclusive online trading masterclass. In this event, you're gonna learn three key things to help take your trading to the next level. Number one, we're gonna teach you a complete price action strategy used by professional traders on a daily basis, plus give you the checklist so you know how to check off each step to qualify the opportunities. Number two, we're gonna teach you how to use advanced order flow analytics to help you qualify high probability, low risk trade setups on a daily basis. Plus, we're gonna teach you how to use that order flow to disqualify the trades that you're used to taking that end up being stopped out. Number three, we're gonna show you how you can apply all of this information with a small account because you can start small and scale up. In fact, that's the only way to start and a lot of our traders are doing it in our community on a daily basis. This is an exclusive offer you can get online only at this event. I look forward to seeing you at this masterclass and teaching you these three secrets of highly profitable day trading. Take care and have a great day.